my connection was bad. Anyways, mama's coming on. I'm doing banana, uh, I guess banana bread muffin. Banana muffins. Anyways, let me show you the ingredients I have. Of course, flour. And I'm making a double batch. Because I want extras. So we got melted butter. We got some cinnamon. Some baking soda. Some baking powder. Some vanilla. Tons of sugar. And a little bit of salt. And of course, your bananas and eggs right there. Okay. And I already sprayed my pan. I got my oven preheated already to 375 so let me put y'all in the stand real quick okay there y'all go if I don't see your comments I will answer them in a little bit so I'm gonna put the salt in here and it's only like a quarter teaspoon of salt well I'll post the recipe because everything I'm doing right now I got six cups of flour in here but I'm doing a double batch. So I got six cups of flour. That was a quarter teaspoon of salt. Two teaspoons of the cinnamon. And then I believe it's four teaspoons of the baking soda. I'm not sure, but I'm going to post the recipe anyway. And then I also have some baking powder. Like I said, I'll post the recipe. Because I don't have it memorized. And then the sugar. Basically, you just dump everything in the same bowl. You don't like that much sugar, you can use sugar substitute. Totally up to you. My bananas are, are getting ripe. And my kiddos will still eat it, but I decided because I bought a bunch, I still have some more there. I decided to make banana bread. Okay, let me mix this right here real quick. Make sure none of this falls. Okay, give me a second. And that's it to that. Oops. Sorry, I'm over here trying to keep the flour off here and then I'm gonna add the butter I melted the butter in the um, microwave just a little bit not completely to where it separates and it turns to half of the whey or the water looking part of it and it all separates I just melted it just enough so I'm gonna go ahead and add the vanilla as well Then on the same bowl that I use for the butter, I'm going to crack the eggs on there. I don't like cracking eggs up on top of it because that way, if you drop a shell, you can scoop it out. And it's a lot easier to scoop it out from here and find out that you have it. And then it is in there and then you're crunching into one of them. About 15-20 minutes it takes to cook, depending on the oven that you have and how high you have the heat okay and then one more egg okay got that let me rinse my hands real quick just a quick rinse That way I could take some of that ache <coughs> wired off my fingers. And then just start, I have my bananas. Normally I put six small ones, or you could do four of the large. So I have two, four, seven bananas, because the last one's little. And it's better to have bananas that are more ripe as to a banana that is still fresh, good to eat. I mean, it's always good to eat, but they're a little bit more firm. Like I said, I'm making a double batch. I wanted extra so I can give some to my son for him to have in his home. And you can always freeze them. Once these cool off completely, wrap them up in a um, zip with Ziploc. Um, I'm sorry, with the wrapping, the clean wrap. 
Then you put them in a Ziploc bag in the freezer. All that, that just makes it sweeter. That's what you want there. Should have gotten a bigger bowl, I think. I was gonna use my stand mixer, but since I'm doing a double batch, it's not gonna fit in there. And I'm being lazy, instead of doing two batches at a time, I decided to do it all at once. You could add pecans, walnuts, chocolate chips. I've even added peanut butter. I thought I'd make a banana bread as the base, and then I'll add either pumpkin or peanut butter, or you can add a zucchini, and it tastes really, really good. Uh, you can also do, uh, what is it? Matcha, matcha, I can't even pronounce it. But you could do um, lemon flavor with it, blueberry, strawberry, they come out really, really good as banana being the base of it. It's all these ingredients plus whatever other extra flavor. Hopefully this doesn't overflow on me. Let me just throw the banana peels. Give me a second. Okay. Let me get this. Hopefully it doesn't overflow on me. down a little bit okay. now you can mix everything first and then add the banana but I don't like big old chunks of banana so I do it right now but if you like to bite into a big old chunk of banana do all the mixing first and then you could do the bananas uh, on the side and fold them in. rubber spatula okay make sure you scrape it all now you, if you don't like cinnamon and you can also uh, you can leave the cinnamon out okay make sure you scrape the bottom because we got all that flour in the bottom now you could instead of regular vanilla you could add um, banana flavor and that just that much extra flavor of banana. Okay, so I think I scraped it. You can add raisins to this. You can add all kinds of things, guys. As long as the banana is the base, I've done every flavor there is I can think of that I like, and put it with it. I think my favorite is will be maybe mixing it with pumpkin or some zucchini. I don't have any cupcake liners because normally I do cupcake liners but I ran out um, of them the other day okay make it a plate real quick so I can put this down okay give it a good mix
haven't made this in a long time. Hold on, put this up. Thinking of grabbing some chocolate chips. Give me a second. Chocolate chips. different bags so I was trying to decide so I got the ones that were already open I got regular chocolate chip the milk chocolate I got some Reese's peanut butter and I got some pecans so the first ones I'm gonna make is just gonna be regular banana and then what I do I like putting some of whatever topping it is on the top so I can tell the difference between each one and this is just a cookie scoop and I'll live it get it leveled and just scoop it in there because they rise and I don't want to overflow it but this way they're all the same size and that way one's not bigger than the other or they're overflowing this is just perfect for me you can use an ice cream scoop but the ice cream scoops are bigger I don't know maybe it's just one ice cream scoop in here it's the only ice cream uh, scoop well cookie scoop I have. You can use it for ice cream. But I only use it for this. For the cookie dough in this. And it's rare that I make cookie dough. Okay, so we like, like I said, I'm doing a double batch. So it's going to be quite a bit of the muffins. We like the plain ones better. But my husband likes pecans. And let's see, I have I haven't had the chocolate chip in a while, so I don't know who's going to like it or not, but we'll have a little bit of everything. Okay, and I'm going to get a separate bowl just so I don't mix everything when it comes to the cons and all that. Like I said, if y'all are commenting, guys, I will get back in there and answer your questions here in just a bit I said I doubled on the batch so I'm gonna send some with the, my son for him okay. and I said the first tray is gonna be all plain because most of us like the plain ones And then I will post the recipe for a smaller batch. And make sure you spray it because you don't want um, the muffins to get stuck. Normally I never spray them because I use uh, cupcake liners. But I don't have any. I used the last one. The few days ago, I made a cupcakes for a children's shelter that my son was do working at. So he took that over there for them. They were having movie night or something or another, and he took them that. So I used up all the last of my liners I had, and I haven't bought any. Okay, this one has like a chunk of banana. I was trying to get the most of the bananas. Um, kind of like liquid type, I guess you want to call it more puree, puree than chunky. But my uh, older son likes the little chunks of the banana, so hopefully he'll be the lucky one to get the chunks. I mean, it's good and all. It's just that I would prefer not to have it. Okay, so this first batch is gonna go in, and I'm gonna set my timer for about 15 minutes. And then I'm going to start working on the others. I'm going to put it in the middle rack. I'm going to have to spray the other ones. Hold on, I put my timer. 
And then at 15 minutes, I'll check them because sometimes it takes a little bit longer. It depends on the oven temperature and all that, how many times you open it. So, okay. Let me get the other tin muffin pans. spray them and I do the spraying over the trash can because it's super it goes everywhere so give me a, a minute I'm gonna go do that Make sure y'all always clean the tip because if it gets clogged up. Okay, so now let me mix. Um, trying to decide what I want. chocolate chip okay so let me do okay so this one I'm going to toss in some chocolate chip and let me go get some more because I need to top it with it gonna mix it fold it in real quick I think of maybe a few more these are the mini ones okay let me get this off because I don't want to mix it with it and then I'll do a few of this fine chocolate chip give me a second y'all just coming in guys i am making i guess banana bread muffins and the first ones we're playing these have a chocolate chip i will post the recipe um later and depending on the side of your muffin pan even though you put in the same amount it'll probably uh overflow a little bit more because some tend to be a little bit smaller This is the chocolate chip one. These are gonna take just a little bit longer to bake because the chocolate chip is gonna make it um, a little bit more wet inside, moist. So I'm gonna try to get 12 of these. If I'll put some more batter if needed. I'm gonna try to do a dozen of all of them. And I will read everything y'all are commenting there and I'll answer you. And good morning, by the way. I have not had breakfast. I'm just finishing up my last, my first cup of coffee. Okay, I'm gonna probably put a little bit more batter. Guess I wanna make at least a dozen. Okay, let me add a little bit more batter. Okay. 
chocolate chips. And you can use any brand of chocolate chips you like. Okay, just mix it up. Honestly, I've never tried the chocolate chips. I'll make them, but I won't eat it. Because I don't like chocolate chip cookies. I won't eat them. So to me, it's the same concept. So I don't know what they taste like, but everybody else eats them. So as long as they're happy with it, I'm happy. Okay. What I do like, though, it's the, the Reese's peanut butter. Now that I love. So I'll probably end up tasting those. Okay. So just so make sure that I know the difference of what what is what. I'm just gonna sprinkle a few of the little minis on top. I don't need many, just enough to show me what it is. Timer in the microwave. I'm gonna do go ahead and start off with 15. So these are the chocolate chip. Oh, that smells good when I opened it. Give me a sec. Okay, got my second timer going. Got eight minutes on this other one. And then to this, I'm gonna debunk this. Maybe I'll do just half because I want some with pecans for my honey. I might do just a few with the peanut butter. And yeah. So this is going to be the pecan. up the chocolate chip here with okay so this is gonna be a little bit more chocolate chips oh wait peanut butter okay a few peanut butter and then these are the chocolate chips just fold it in give it a good mix make sure they all get into that batter every single little drop in here scrape up okay now we're going to be doing the Reese's peanut butter cup flavor oh you can hear the kettles jumping upstairs Now this one seems to be like a smaller tin pan, so or muffin pan, what do you want to call it? I think I'm going to do just one scoop on this. And then they come out small, they come out small, it doesn't matter. Okay. And I will lance you out here in a bit, guys. As soon as I finish this up. Uh, hopefully I get the 12. I'll make sure I get the 12. Okay, I need enough for two more. Okay. I'm just going to go in with this. Like I said, I just need enough for two more. Just a bit, don't eat that much. Okay. I'm just 
gonna fold these in, scrape every little corner, save it. Use every little bat piece of batter here. Okay. I hear the baby calling me. Okay. Get my last ones in. And just scrape up. I think some need a little bit more. Just use it up. tell the difference or what's for what. What <laughs> Just on top. Uh, yes, baby? <gasps> no more jewel. Okay. Grandma, no more jewel. Okay. Come on, got it. Okay, baby. Okay, let's see here. Just need two more. Here. And then just a sprinkle Mama, of what are you doing? the chocolate. I'm making muffins, baby. You're making muffins? Yes. I love muffins. I know. I'm making banana muffins. Okay. Just a few here. I'm going to set this aside because I'm going to wait for the to put it in with the other one. Okay, give me a second. And I'm gonna spray my last can um, pan. Give me a second when I go spray it. Okay. And this one's gonna be with the pecans. These are like super, super fun in there. So let's see. Did y'all eat breakfast already, guys? I have it. I can't. I have all this food, but I haven't. I can't decide what I want. I don't know. I'll probably just wait for lunch. Let's see what I make for lunch. I want to put in like half of the scoop more to the muffin pan here. Okay. Like I said, they'll come up small, but that's fine. So I was trying to hope we can get 12 out of here, but I'm lucky if I get 7. Okay. Scrape the last of it. All the banana flavor. Okay, let me just sprinkle a little bit of this on top. That way we know for sure. Okay. Okay, sprinkle a 
little bit more. And like I said, add as much or as little pecans that you want. Just whatever you like. Okay. Let me take the other ones out. Well, let me check them first too. Because I don't want to take them out and then they're not done. Okay. Let me check on that first batch. They look done. Oof, the heat. Free facial. You don't want to slam the door because then it'll get go flat. Oh, my glasses got all steamy. Give me a second. Let me clean them up. Okay. So let's see here. Yep, 15 minutes. They're done. So that stays there. Let me stick the other ones in. And I'm going to go ahead and do 15 minutes as well. Now, the other ones that I put in for 15 minutes down here probably take a little bit longer because they're in the lower rack. Okay, got 15 minutes there. I'm going to let them sit just for a little bit. Then I'll get some. I got to drink some of my coffee. I go to, um, I believe it's AGS. The letters it's a baking place that sells uh, baking stuff here in San Antonio and they sell this I don't know like two three dollars instead of using a toothpick this it's a cake tester because I bake a lot but I use it on my um, on my baking stuff so give me a minute while I put this stuff up real quick and all my twist ties I save from my bread. Sorry guys, it's getting louder. The kids are down there playing and watching TV. No. Excited that I'm making muffins. Okay. So give me a second here. I'm gonna put this up because I don't want them around here because they'll start melting because of the heat. Okay. So let me get a bigger plate so I can put my muffins in. So I want them to cool off a little bit. Oh, they smell so good, guys. They're perfect. Now, if you want to make a big loaf, it's going to take about 45 minutes to an hour when you make a big loaf. You can use the same recipe right here. Now, if you're making tons and tons of muffins and you want to put a, something on top so you know for sure that it's um, a banana, get those banana chips, uh, the heart ones, and you can place them on top. Um, Either before or after, because you can bake them in there too. But they'll just tend to crisp a little bit more. So I usually can just make a little. They're so hard that you can just slide them in there. Okay. They're still hot. So. Okay, that's one. I want to make sure they stay cool. Got a cryer over there in the front. Okay. Now, have you noticed some of them? I have no idea why it does it, but some of them kind of curve to the top. And then there's like this one, it doesn't. I have no idea why that happens. I say that it's because um, the spray, maybe the way I spray too much, maybe, or something, or that baking spray. I don't know. Could be. I'm going to cut one here in a minute. Just want to get them out so they can start cooling. Okay, let me move this out of the way. Is that hot? Oh no, I can touch it already. Okay, so we got that going. Let 
turn on the oven light real quick so I can, I need to clean my soap real good. It's not that clean right now. I'm gonna bring that in a closer look. Let me get some other plates because I'm gonna need it for the other ones. Uh, hold on, let me grab some other ones over here. these because I'm going to put the trays here. Okay. Look at this, guys. I'm going to cut into it. I actually just want to cut into all of them little by little. some room for me over here. I'm going to put up the ingredients, guys. Put that up for now. Give me a minute, guys. Let me put up, make some room here. Put up all the ingredients I had here. And like I said, I'll post the recipe in a bit. Oh, the other muffins are beeping. And like I said, let's see if these are done because these are the plain chocolate chip. Hey. Okay. So try to stick it maybe to where it comes out with chocolate, but of course. Still a little wet. Like I said, this one's going to take longer because it does have extra stuff in it. So let me put them back in there. Let's see here. I want to burn myself over here. Okay, I'll put them in for about another five minutes. Give me a second while I put the timer. Okay. Timer's going for it to be in there for another five minutes. Let me cut one. I'm trying to make some room here. And then if I have too many, I'm just going to put them in a Ziploc baggie. I might... Um, Wrap them in plastic just so they don't get that freezer burn flavor on, on the plastic wrap. Okay. Yummy. Okay, guys. And if y'all are missing it, y'all can always do replay. I'm going to taste this. Mmm. That's really, really good. Okay, the other ones are almost done, guys. I'm going to go back. Okay, so, let me see, oops, hi Carissa, thank you, yes I am, hope y'all are too, 
Good morning, Gina. Thank you all for joining me. Hi, Bernie. Okay, I'm over here trying to see what else is on here. A few more minutes, guys. I have bad allergies still. Oh, my coffee. But I am going to eat one of those muffins. It tastes really good. So I'm going to try the... I want to say the chocolate chip is the next one. I would prefer not to have the chocolate chip, but I'll eat them if that's all there is. Mm. With some coffee or some milk. That's just what I got. And it didn't take that long to make. It's super easy. It takes longer. Excuse me. It takes longer to get all the ingredients together than it is to mixing it and baking it. 15 minutes to bake. The ones with the chocolate chip and all that will take a little bit longer because of course the chocolate chip has moisture in it. So, you know, it just takes that much longer. We've got a few more minutes left, maybe like two more minutes on that first batch. So I'm gonna put you back on the stand so I can get the glove and everything ready. Let me flip y'all around. Okay, let's see here. Okay, perfect. Um, get the glove ready. There's a minute and 20 seconds left on the second timer. Let me pull them back out. These are going to be the chocolate chip. Now you could just let them sit here, but the thing is, this still keeps heat, so it'll continue baking on the edges, and you don't want a hard edge. Okay. You can see all that chocolate right there melting. I'll let them cool just a little bit and then I will cut one. Get this here. And now you know, guys, how long I've been trying to stay on as long as everything takes me. So y'all know how long it really actually takes to do something. So that's why these past few days, since I've had plenty of time, since we're on lockdown. I could stay on here as long as possible. And y'all can see the true life of time that I take to do stuff. Not the fast version y'all get. I actually try to rush through the things for y'all. Okay, so let me move this pen. Ah, uh, I wish I could smell. My kitchen right now. Okay, so these are the banana chocolate chip muffins. My daughter wanted blueberries, but I don't have blueberries, so maybe tomorrow. I think I have some frozen blueberries. And basically, it's the same concept, but the only thing is that any strawberries, anything wet like that, strawberries, pineapple, um, blueberries, all that, get a little bit of flour. And mix them up in the floor. Do not thaw them out. Leave them frozen. If you're using frozen, if you're using fresh, same thing. It don't matter. Toss them in a little bit of flour because everything tends to sink to the bottom of the muffin. So you don't want it to sink. So what you need to do is flour them a little bit, fold them in, and then you'll have it distribute evenly when using those. Okay. So let me get put this one in first. A banana one. Where's my knife? Oh, there it is. Hopefully. Y'all can see the chocolate chip in there. 
Let me wipe this down. Give me a sec. And this is your chocolate chip. So I'm going to take a little taste of that. And you can see all the chocolate chip in there. I'll melt it. Mmm. That tastes good, actually. So, all you chocolate lovers, you can put cocoa powder and make the whole thing chocolate with the banana. And then the next one's going to be, I believe, the Reese's Buttercup. I still prefer the plain banana over that. Okay. Let me go ahead and check on the other ones. These are the peanut butter chocolate chip. Okay. I'm going to get another plate because I'm going to need it for the next one. Okay, these are the peanut butter chocolate chip. The Reese's Buttercup. And they're not as high as these. Tell the difference. Just a little bit. Some have, because I did put extra batter on some, remember? But they're still a good size. Okay, I'm excited to try this peanut butter one. And I'm going to grab one of the smaller ones. I'm going to put that on my plate over there. Okay. And like I said, once they cool, let's see, this one got a big chunk of the banana right there. Let's see, right there, if you can see, right there. Okay, because so I'm going to let them cool, then I'm going to bag them. Now we eat what we eat, the rest we're going to freeze, and then I'm going to send some with my son. this out of the way here and then I have one more okay let me cut into this one this is the peanut butter chocolate chip the Reese's Buttercup. So on this one, the Reese's Buttercup chips don't melt. I'm trying to see if it's, because they don't stay in there long enough. And they're, yeah, I could pinch it, they're soft. So I'm gonna try this one. Mmm. If you like Reese's Buttercup, you know, like that. Mmm, that's good. Let me clean this up real quick because the other one's almost done. Okay, so let me pull out the other ones. Mmm, that was really good. You see that right there? That's from the spray. Where I sprayed and I didn't um, put any batter. Oh, these are done. Okay, clearing off my stove, turning it off. And these are the pecans. I prefer not to taste the pecan, but I'll taste one just for y'all. Cut it up here, just for the taste of it. I mean, I'll eat it, I just prefer not to. This is a smaller one, so I'll take that one. Okay, not many of the pecan. That was the last of it. Move this out of the way. 
Okay, so I put down here, guys, what we have for y'all. I'm going to cut into this one. Cons. It says the pecans are so tiny, they're hard to see in there. But they're in there. I put quite a bit. Not sure. So you could see some of them right there. So let me taste it. Mmm, that's really good. I like it because. The pecans are all tiny. Good morning, Gina. Okay. So right here we got the peanut butter Reese's cup. Chocolate chip. And then this is just chocolate chip. They're all banana flavor. So the basic base is banana. So this is chocolate chip. These are pecans. And these two are the plain banana bread. Okay, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. Just wanted to let y'all know how long it takes to make some muffins. Y'all can have it ready in no time. Y'all have a good one. I'm going to sit down let them just cool off. And I'm going to do mine with some coffee. Love you guys. Bye.